Hey guys, it's Isabella, and I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but that's because I've been really, really busy with school and cross country. But now that cross country season is over, I can go back to making more videos for you guys, and so I'm super excited about that. And I know today's video is kind of late, but I know you guys are really going to like it. Today I'm going to be showing you two healthy DIY Halloween treats, and these are so yummy, I can't even believe it, and they're so easy to make, it took me like 10 minutes, and I think you guys are really going to like them. If you make either of these treats, be sure to show me on Instagram using the hashtag Isabella's Eats because I love when you guys make my stuff. Hope you guys have a super fun Halloween and let's get started with the video. To make the dark chocolate almond butter cups, you're going to need almond butter, coconut oil, and dark chocolate. I used 88%, but if you want it to be sweeter, just use like 72 or 60%. And then you're just going to start to melt the chocolate in a pan. And then once it's kind of a little bit melted, you're going to add in a scoop of coconut oil, just a big scoop is fine. And then you're just going to stir that until it's completely liquidy and melted. And then you're going to line a muffin pan with cupcake liners, and then you're going to spray them with some cooking spray just so they don't stick to the pan. And then once you finish spraying them, you're going to fill up the bottom with a layer of melted chocolate and make sure that you save half of the chocolate to go on the top layer. I actually only got three cups out of this, but I actually just lined it with six. So then you're just going to fill the bottom layer, and then once you're done filling up the bottom layer with chocolate, you're going to stick it into the freezer for 10 minutes, that way it can harden. And then once 10 minutes are up, you can just take it out of the freezer, and then you're going to make the almond butter layer, and to make the almond butter layer, what you're going to do is take a scoop of almond butter and just spread it out pretty thinly because you don't want that much thickness of almond butter. So you just spread out a thin layer on top of that hardened chocolate. And then once you're done making the almond butter layer, you're just going to take the rest of your melted chocolate and spoon it on top. And then once you're finished doing that, you're going to stick it back in the freezer for 30 minutes so it can harden. And then once it's done being completely hardened, and you can just take them out of the wrapper, it should be really easy since you sprayed them before. And it looks just like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but it's obviously vegan and healthy and delicious. And now to make the raw vegan, which is fingers, which are really cute, you're going to need some pitted dates, nuts of your choice, I use cashews and almonds, some blanched almonds, and some strawberry jam. And then you're just going to take one cup of the pitted dates and put them in a blender along with the one cup of nuts of your choice, I use cashews and almonds again, and then you're going to blend it. And if you're having trouble blending, you can soak the dates in some water before, soften them. And then once a sticky dough like this forms, you're just going to scoop it out, and the dough should be pretty smooth. And then you're going to take a ball of dough and just form it into a log type shape. And then once it's like a log, you're going to pinch the middle to make the knuckle. And then you're going to make an indent at the top to make the fingernail. And then you're just going to repeat that with the rest of the dough. Again, just rolling it into a log and then pinching the middle so it becomes like the knuckles and then making an indent so it becomes the fingernail. And then once you're finished shaping all of the fingers, you're going to start making the blood by just taking a scoop of strawberry or raspberry jam and putting it where you made the indent for the fingernail. And this will make it be like a bloody fingernail. And it's just really creepy and cute. And then to make the actual nail part, you're just going to take some blanched or slivered almonds and place them on top of where you made the blood. And it should just stick. I hope you like guys like the video and that you try some of these treats out. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Isabella's underscore eats and hashtag either of the treats that you made to Isabella's eats. And I hope you guys have a great Halloween. Bye.